Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is the hardware tour of the Moby Nova Ice. This device has a 3-inch touchscreen of resolution 400 down and 240 across. That is WQVGA. Um, it's actually the same resolution as the Samsung Omnia, but as we'll discover later when we do the software tour, you really only get a QVGA screen because you have an unchangeable row of icons down here that you cannot move or take off the screen, or at least I haven't found out a way to do that yet. So really think of it like a QVGA screen. So we'll go back to that part later. Now if we go in on the device, we have uh, the speaker here. We have a light sensor kind of hidden off behind, um, or, or to the left of the front facing video camera. And then we have a very flush looking metallic shiny screen. Um, and then we go down to a very minimal offering of hardware buttons. So we have call start and call end, but we also have this OLED screen here. It's 96 by 96 pixels and it's touch screen. And the idea is that this takes on certain functions depending on which screen you're in. So if you're just uh, in, you know, on the today screen, you'll get a D-pad. Um, if you are in a media player, you'll get certain media controls. This functionality is pretty limited. And again, we'll cover this in the software tour. Now it does do some other things. If I press on the camera button, I will get some notifications here. So it tells me the time, uh, it tells me if I have an email, it tells me battery life and signal strength, which is pretty convenient so that you don't have to turn on the device to check out all of these system indicators. Also, you may have seen this uh, about 30 seconds ago, you will get a, a glowing envelope that will imply that you have a new message. I, I don't know when this happens. I think it's after you turn off your device. Let's see if it'll do it. Yep, there it goes. Right after you turn off your device, which is kind of a weird time to notify you, you'll get that glowing um, envelope and you really can't do anything with it. So let's continue around the device. If we go over to the side, we have a port which uses mini USB, which is great because uh, you don't have to use a proprietary um, connector. That said, this device doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you'll have to get a converter for that, just like uh, some HTC devices. Going to the bottom, we have nothing there but the microphone. On this side of the device, we have the micro SD expansion slot, which is fortunately located on the outside of the device, so you don't have to turn off the phone to get to it. Then we have a camera button, volume rocker, and on the top, we have the standby button here, and here's a really nice feature to have. It's the silent button. So with one tap, it goes into silent mode, and with another tap, the speaker comes back on, kind of like some Palm devices that are out there. Now you may have seen the stylus over here, which is a unfortunately a collapsible stylus, and it's got an extremely fine point. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, uh, going over to the back, we have the three megapixel camera, and we have what appears to be dual speakers, although it's kind of deceiving. Watch, I'll take off the back. There's no speaker there. It's just there for show. Um, there's only one speaker, and here is the hard reset or the software set hole, I should say, and we have a battery here that is of size 1,080 milliamp hours, which is kind of small, actually, and we'll have to um, do some battery tests to see how long the battery will last. So overall, the hardware of the Moby Nova Ice is quite good looking. It's a stunning design, I think, uh, and a lot of people that have seen the unboxing say, wow, that phone looks really, really cool. And yeah, it does look really, really cool. It looks kind of uh, futuristic. That said, at the end of the day, it's the software that makes the phone, and we're going to have to take a look at um, how this optical or how this OLED D-pad works and these static buttons on the bottom of the screen to see if they lend to a better device experience or whether they just impede usability. So we'll be back soon with the software tour of the Moby Nova Ice. That's it for now.